Praise the Lord. And today we continue with the book of Deuteronomy. I want you to know that the book of Deuteronomy gives very serious instructions together with the book of Proverbs on parenthood and on the office of the father. It is an amazing, an amazing thing that we need to really put our focus on. This is a very good thing that I want you all to know. So let us read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, up to 10, up to 10. I'll read. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Hear, O Israel, Jehovah our God is Jehovah. That's what he says. And you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I command you this day will be in your heart. And you will teach them diligently to your children. And you will talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. And you will bind them for a sign on your hand. And they will be on the four frontlets between your eyes. And you will write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And it will be when the Lord your God brings you into the land that he has swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you you great and splendid cities that you did not build. So God says, when you train up your children well, by the way, I want to say something here that is very important. Are you aware that every family has a blessing of God on it? Every family. And many families are not even an eighth, enjoying even an eighth of the blessing that God has on them. And the reason why they are not enjoying even an eighth of what God has for them is because fathers have failed to bring God in the family. So God has been pushed out in the family. We have idolized academics and profession. Not, let me tell you, we want our children to go to school and succeed. That we, we, we must do. We want our children to become professional people and that we really must do. But I want you to know this. These two that I have mentioned are only as important as the spiritual aspect of the children is. If the spiritual aspect of your children spiritual health of your children is not there, I can tell you without any shadow of variableness that what you are considering success in your family is not success. It is even, it is actually an opportunity for destruction. You must, I mean, for you to experience true, genuine success and goodness and blessings of God, you must be in communion with God, so you need to lay your family on a solid foundation of the Word of God. For the solid foundation of the Word of God will attract blessings in your life and will make you so very successful and so very powerful. You will enjoy life. You will walk in the blessings of God and you will experience the glory of God every single day of your life. And the Lord is repeating what we just read in, in what we studied yesterday. The Lord has said, and it will be when the Lord your God brings you into the land that he swore to, to your forefathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and Jacob, to give you a great and splendid cities, 
you did not build and houses full of all good things that you did not fill, and wells you did not dig, vineyards and olives, olive trees that you did not plant, which you will eat and be full. Then beware lest you forget the Lord your God who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So what God is saying is that he is going to bless you so much the blessing of the Lord is going to be so powerful on you. He will make you so splendid. You will be so glorious. The blessing of God will be so real that even the nations will acknowledge that the finger of the Lord is on that family. Look, these are the blessings God has for your family. But many of you, your families have not and are not walking in the fullness of the blessings of God because fathers have failed in their responsibility. And that is why God has inspired me and called me to do these many classes. Look, this is, could be the class number 20 something that God just wants us to, to teach. He has not allowed me to think about something else. He has filled my heart with this. He speaks to me as I walk. And as I continue receiving feedback from people all over, it, the message that God is saying, I want fathers to become the replication of, of God. Because God is our heavenly father. Our natural fathers must have the very character of God on earth so that we may understand our heavenly father by seeing our, what our, our earthly father do. So, fathers, you have no choice but to connect with God, to build a strong relationship with God. I pray that this moment, every father that is listening to me will go down on his knees and say, Lord, I want to be like you. I want my children to see you in me. I want my children to hear your voice through me, oh God. I want my children to to know you, Lord, by looking, at my, by, by looking at my life. Every father has the duty to do that. This is what God is calling you to do, beloved. Father, in Jesus' name, you are calling on each one of us fathers to become like you, the compassion like you, to teach and instruct our children, in the paths of your righteousness, the way you instruct us and teach us, oh God. Father, help each one of us. Help me. Help my brothers and sisters who are watching this broadcast to do and to, be, to desire above everything else to be like you. To desire the nature of God to be infused in us. To love the way God loves to be compassionate in the way of God, to have mercy in the way of the mercies of God. We thank you, Father, and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.